Governor Ron DeSantis is making another attempt to tackle the opioid crisis, signing new legislation aimed at protecting first responders from fentanyl exposure. But that is just a piece of the puzzle. CBS 12's Katie Benty is joining us live tonight from downtown West Palm Beach with how state leaders are also working to address the ongoing crisis. Katie? Jim, if there's one thing we're learning through this ongoing battle, it's that you can't arrest your way out of the opioid crisis. Now, Governor DeSantis signed two separate bills today, and while one of them does focus on stiffening the penalties for exposing law enforcement to fentanyl, the other is completely focused on raising awareness and expanding resources for overdose response and recovery. The fight against fentanyl continues. I wish there was just a switch we could turn on and never have to deal with this again. I wish there was one magic bill you can sign and never have to deal with it again. But the reality is you got to approach this from a variety of different ways. Florida is slowly seeing a decline in overdose deaths. Data shows roughly 600 fewer deaths last year than the year prior. Its progress, Governor Ron DeSantis heavily attributes to the Coordinated Opioid Response Network, which launched in 12 counties, including Palm Beach, in 2022. Because you had a revolving door. Someone would go, they'd have an overdose, they'd go to the hospital, they get revived, and then they just get discharged, and it was going to happen again. And it's just, a, it's just a vicious cycle. Monday, DeSantis announced CORE will be expanding its 24-hour care, access, and recovery resources to an additional 17 counties, including Indian River and St. Lucie. Along with that, he signed a bill directing the Department of Health to step up and raise awareness. Maureen Keelian says that's just the start. She's been advocating for more education programs after her son became addicted to painkillers several years ago. He wasn't getting help and he wasn't getting treatment and nobody talked about this and it's not my family, not my kid. I'm like, yeah, it is your kid. And you you just issue. don't know it yet. That's not the only push for action. DeSantis also signed a bill cracking down on dealers caught putting fentanyl on our streets and knowingly exposing a first responder to the deadly drug will now be considered a second degree felony. If an officer says, do you have drugs in your possession? Uh, and you lie, and then the officer ends up getting exposed and harms, uh, we're going to throw the book at you. You are killing people, and you need to be treated like the murderer that you are. Officials continue to stress the importance of having Narcan on hand. DeSantis says that CORE responded to roughly 18,000 emergency calls where Narcan ended up saving a life. Reporting live in downtown West Palm Beach, I'm Katie Benty, CBS 12 News.